kila kipindi kwa ninavyoambia nitakuja kuzituma nitazituma um money management in forex kwa hiyo why why money management money management uh, ni more powerful ni very powerful kuliko trading system yoyote unaweza kukutana nayo yani kwa sababu hata sasa hivi mtu anaweza akaja akisema mwanangu naomba mtaji mtu akapewa dola mbili sasa hivi lakini kama ujui una money management utaipoteza tu guys mimi hapa yani i don't want to lie to you yani mtu yote kamuulize moist kamuulize kusi tumepoteza hela sana because sisi hapa mimi personally sasa hivi nina mwaka naenda wa pili probably trading i've seen so much and yani back then yani kuna kipindi nishapoteza hata dola mbili kwa siku yani in total yani hapa sasa hivi naweza kama nishapoteza karibu yani kwenye zile losses za kipindi kile zinaweza zikazifika hata karibu dola 500 na huko na unaweza kaisi utana lakini it's real unapoteza yani unapoteza siku moja lakini leo unapoteza dola 30 kesho umeka dola ngapi hivyo hivyo lakini for the sake of planning we did it lakini hatakuwa na money management lakini tumekuwa na money management probably ingekuepo tumepoteza kiwango kidogo umeona mosi ana story yake kusi ana story yake kwa hiyo hatutaki hichi kitu kwa tokee ndio maana lazima mtu uelewe kama unajua kabisa huko kwenye forex ili uweze kujitoa kwenye umaskini unaweza ukajikuta forex imekuingiza kwenye umaskini na ndio maana mwisho siku watu wanakuwa desperate sana anaanza kulalamikia watu anasema forex ni uongo ni uchawi sijui nini nini unajua lakini it's not fault ya mtu yote kwa sababu ukifuata simple rules ungesifuata single kwa ulipo hapo watu wanataka wanataka quick money forex haina quick money kuna hizi point ambazo lazima nizongee guys kabla sijafika mbele ili muweze kunielewa money management is more stable than any trading system it is based on math and math does not change now now iko very stable yani iko very stable mtu ukiweza kuwa na management money management nzuri kwenye forex yani wewe tayari ushakuwa tajiri kwa sababu in one year unaweza ukotoa account ya dola kumi ikafika hata dola 1000 ikisha fika dola 1000 unaweza ukatoa account ya dola 1000 ikafikisha dola 1000 in a certain period of time with proper money management lakini sasa ndio hivyo mtu anaweka anaweka dola 100 leo anataka Ijumaa imefikisha dola 1000 mtu anaweka dola ngapi leo anataka ikifika lini imefikisha dola 500 unrealistic goals kama hizo ndio ambazo zinawafanya watu kupoteza hela Money management it's more logical to implement proper money management to a trading system than to trade without money management will take you further less even at any mission gear the wrong money management for your trading account could get the result sasa kuna proper money management na wrong money management mtu mwingine anasema yani una trade trade tu baadaye unashangaa account pap ila amna au unapoteza hela sana. Yaani una money management lakini it's a bad money management. Ashumi labda una account ya dola 20. Huwa tunasema kuna reward ratio, risk reward ratio per trade. Unakuta reward ratio yako labda ni kubwa, ile risk reward ratio yako ni kubwa. Kwa hiyo wewe trade unaoi take unajikuta kwamba ukila loss unakula ya dola tano labda. It means ukitrade labda position tena nyingine ikifika kesho kutwa maki ile dola 20 ishaisha. Umeona? Kuna vitu kama hivyo guys. Kwa hiyo let's dive in tuangalie sasa. Uh, money management it's based on rules nyingi lakini hizi hapa nimeziweka kama top priority. Nyingine nitazisema mwisho ni kama bonus. Know your risk per trade. Kuna rule moja kwenye forex ambayo all forex traders wote wanaitumia. Tunasema una trade per day only 2% of your account. <laughs> only 2% now imagine i mean personally i don't do this actually no trader and sidhani kama kuna trader ambaye anafanya hivi lakini for starting it's not bad at least mimi waga nasema it's okay uka trade hata 10% kama manake una account ya dola lakini this is bad kwa account kama mfano ya dola 100 manake unaweza uka risk dola 10 kwa siku ila account manake ya dola 1000 manake una risk karibu dola dola 100 account ya dola 10000 una risk dola 1000 kwa siku moja yani manake unapokuwa na trade 
kiwango ambacho upo willing to lose ku lose kwa siku ni dola moja au kiwango ambacho kwa trade uwezo zuweka zile position una uwezo wa ku lose na spill bad about it ni ngapi dola moja wacha unaweza kupunguza au tuende na five kwa kifupi nilichukulia maelezo kidogo ili tuweze kuelewa your risk per trade will also determine your overall position size per trade let's say the size of your trading ni hapo and you have spotted a promising trade that will make us all pips here is what i'm seeing knowing your maximum risk per trade is two percent of your account i20 dollars it's easy to calculate your appropriate position size for that trade so pretty divide your capital risk with stop loss in pips this calculation return to the dollar value for for this is 0.4 lots hiyo hiyo yani sometimes anachozungumzia sometimes unaweza ukiwa na hii hapa risk reward per trade kwamba kila trade moja itatoa basi dola ngapi kwa hiyo for 50 pips kwa kila trade maana yake ukija kuzidishia kwa hii hapa by 50 ndio utapata hela ambayo unahitaji this is not really important guys usizani hapa tupo darasani i know guys kuna watu wengi wa kushona hivi anaanza kufikiria mbali ah, it's not important the most important thing ni kwamba unatakiwa uelewe kwamba what's your risk reward ratio per trade kwamba niongeze kitu up um niseme always risk what you can afford to you guys always this was afford to lose mimi hapa guys um ni yani kuna muda unakuepo na matamanio au unamwona mtu fulani ameteka certain trade mtu fulani amechukua labda trade watu wanakuambia ah mimi nimeingia hiyo USD kwa sababu kuna magroups mengi sana ya forex right USD na panda USD inafanyaje nini hapo ndio watu wengi wao wanaanza ku fail anaingia trade inaenda opposite ana fail yeye akoncheki ni dola 20 hana risk reward ratio kwamba kwa siku labda mimi naweza nika afford ku lose tu labda dola 4 au dola 5 tu kwa siku ikizidi dola 5 naacha ku trade na funga MT4 naenda zangu kuangalia TV yani hata siangaiki nayo watu hawana that and that's really important kwa sababu kuangalia tu zile charts kwenye forex is tempting utakuwa naona ah, unajua binadamu tumeomba kwamba tuna psychology kwamba kitu kikiwa kime, kibaya kimetokea you want to fix it ndio maana sasa hivi watu waga wanafukuzia wanawake ambao hawawataki you know why because always binadamu na mentality kwamba kitu kile ambacho huna ndo unakitaka when you get it unaanza kuona cha kawaida that's it ukiingia kwenye forex utapoteza pesa ukipoteza pesa utasema ah no i got get it back i get get, get get it back i know i can get it back unaanza ku track or trade it more unafungua position nyingine 10 minutes 30 minutes later ume draw account drawing an account kwenye forex is as easy as kumwaga maji sijui kwenye mchanga yanapotea muda huo huo yani kwa hiyo utapoingia kwenye real account guys utakuwa unatumia hela yako uliyopigania wengine wana copa alifanyaje na ndio hichi kitu ambacho kilimua Francisco. So kimemua yani kime alip career yake. Kwa sababu ya watu hawakuelewa hivi vitu. Forex is a risk business. You have to know this there are rules to be applied. If you don't follow the rules you lose your money. You go home. Na upo utabaki unalia mwenyewe. Mimi I've seen watu wamepoteza I had a boss alipoteza dola 7 in a week. Dola 7. Anyways always use stop loss stop loss guys nadhani kusi alionyesha akawafundisha stop loss ni muhimu sana lakini stop loss peke yake is not strong kama hautumi reward to risk ratio of a trade reward to risk ratio of a trade maana yake nini unakuta kuna ratio 1.1 2.1 3.1 1 yake nini assume kwamba ume take a trade ambayo labda inaenda pips 20 maana yake upo upo okay kupoteza pips kumi. ndio hii hapa 
manake tukiniandike vizuri manake upo tayari trade yako itatengeneza profit ya pipsi 20 endo take profit pipsi ambazo upo tayari kupoteza ni pipsi kumi. endo 2 pa 1 au ratio 1 risk reward ratio 3 manake kama inaenda pipsi 30 upo tayari kupoteza pipsi kumi. 1 manake ni kama inaenda pipsi 20 na stop loss ni pipsi 20. Kwa hiyo ni take profit ni pipsi 20, stop loss ni pipsi 20. Zina balance. Umeona ndio 1 ratio 1 ukija kusikia 2 ratio 1 ndio hii. Kama inaenda pipsi 20 basi wewe 10 ni za stop loss. Kama itaenda pipsi 30 basi 10 ni stop loss. You see this guys waga mostly tuna focus hapa. Naona sasa inategemea na what type of a trader are you? Wewe ni kama day trader unajikuta mara nyingi unachukua labda hii ya tu kwa sababu unatafuta entry za fasta na za kutoka fasta. Kama ni swing trader ah wewe una tatizo. Hata uki break even hauna tatizo. Sub swing trading is a different thing. Use leverage wisely. Nadhani leverage mlifundishwa mwanzoni kabisa. Sasa although forex market ina watu wengi wengi wanakimbia kwa sababu brokers wana offer different kind of leverage na ukiangalia matangazo watu wanazungumzia leverage you have the leverage ya 2 point gapi leverage ya nini kwamba mtu unakuwa na account leverage ni kiwango ambacho broker anakukodisha wewe ku trade kwenye ile account yako kwa mtu kama una account ya dola kumi lakini leverage inaweza ikawa kama ni kama unakodisha kiwango fulani cha pesa ku trade kwenye ile real market sasa unakuta mtu ana set leverage kubwa sana leverage kubwa means anaweza ku earn hela nyingi sana kwa kati moja lakini at the same time if you can earn a lot of money at the same time means you can lose a lot of money at the same time kwa hiyo trade inaweza ikacheza ukashangaa ime move labda pips nne labda mtu na leverage ya 1000 si ratio 1 kuona shangai pips ni mdoba katengeneza labda kwenye account labda tusemeye 50 dollars labda katengeneza tayari dola 20 muona kwa pips nne kwa the same time katika hizi hizi pips nne hii dola ingeenda tofauti means angekuwa amepoteza dola ngapi dola 20 angekuwa amebakiwa na dola 30 kwa hiyo only always use leverage ambayo ni standard ambayo it's simple ambayo haitaumiza account yako um The first thing ni don't trade trade <laughs> don't trade based on emotion. Namba hii point ni it ni iweke hivi. Don't trade based on emotion. Guys, binadamu sisi hapa ni viumbe ambavyo vinahisia sana. Mungu katumba hivyo. It's our weakness. Ndio maana wapenzi wanauana, watu wanajinyonga. Leo nimesoma habari kuna mtu kamua mtoto wake wa mwaka mmoja na nusu na yeye kajua and the girl is only 21 is 22 it's a very sad story lakini it all comes down to emotions emotions in determine choices as a choices most times based on the emotions is as good as as good bad kwenye forex market usipokuwa strong uta make a lot of bad choices based on the emotions na ongee because sababu i'm a victim of this I lost a lot of money kwa sababu ya emotions back then ni kwa sijui hichi kitu. Sisi siku hizi huwa tuna trade mimi hapa, nikisha take a trade nikaiacha. Yaani mimi hapa sina tena hisia nayo. I'm emotion free and you have to be like that. Kwa sababu I know na nipo tayari kupoteza kiwango gani hata kama ita hit stop loss haitaumiza account ya account yangu kama account yangu ina dola 400, mimi nipo tayari kupoteza baada dola 20. Hata ikiid stop loss I'm okay with that. Lakini kipindi kile nilikuwa na, nataka na account labda ya dola 100. Natamani kwa siku atatengeneza dola 50. What happens na end up poteza ile dola 50. Nachukia kwa sababu dola 50 ukipiga za sana laki moja kama na 30. Naanza kusema like oh I gotta get it back I gotta get it back. Now here's the thing the devil is a tricky one uta trade uta trade utapata kama dola 20 utaona imefikisha dola 70 utaona yes mbona kama anapatia the more utapoanza ku trade baada ya hapo unapoteza yote yani hapo hapo 
tena very fast utaipoteza yote ile dola sabini itakuwa dola sifuri very fast yani ask watu na hata gambling watu wanao wanao bet mimi si angalage mpira i don't watch football unfortunately lakini najua hata watu wanao bet hichi kitu wanakijua ukitrade ukibet kwenye emotions nini yani uta, uta fail lazima utumie akili um and the last thing ambacho kwenye hizi points ni kwamba always wear a trading journal mimi hapa nina trading journal yangu kusi ana trading journal yake mimi yangu nilikwepo ninavyoanza nikwepo sana na base kwenye kuangalia trends nilikuwa naangalia behavior za candlestick kwa nilikuwa sometimes na kuwa very very yani interested na these candlesticks number form na ziandika kwa nini ndio labda ilienda hivi kuna ukiweza kuwa na trading journal itakusaidia hasa kuelewa sessions kila mtu huaga na understanding yake kutokana na pairs zake different pairs na act differently kwenye different sessions hichi kitu nilifundisha siku zile kwa hiyo na trading journal ukaamua wewe una trade labda euro USD EUD hapo euro USD euro USD au una trade GBP USD GU una trade labda JPY JP Japanese yen against labda JPV USD G, JU Japanese yen against United States dollar is zote zina act tofauti kutokana na different session kwa mfano labda una after session labda ya uh, Asian eat act tofauti eat act tofauti eat act tofauti zikifika kwenye trade session labda ya New York eat act tofauti eat act tofauti sasa wewe kama hizi ni pair zako ukiwa na hizi trading journal it means utakuwa unaweza ku kumark zile behavior zake kwamba jana kwa sababu he is a secret guys ndio maana ambaye forex market haina secret yani market inachofanya inafanya in repetition kama jana labda market muda saa tisa labda ilifanya kitu fulani kama hamna news au kitu chochote it's more likely to do that the same thing leo kwa sababu the market is moved by people investment kwenye banks na nini and most times wale well, watu wago wanafanya the same action kwa sababu wewe una routine si ndio you have a routine ambayo kila siku unaamka asubuhi unavaa nguo sio labda unaoga unavaa nguo unakunywa chai unaenda unapanda kibasi unaenda ofisini ukienda ofisini unaenda labda bank nini na investors wapo hivyo hivyo wana routine kwa obviously kuna times ambazo unajikuta walifanya hivi vitu na jana kesho yake atafanya hivyo hivyo ndio maana ukija kwenye market hii hapa unaweza kujikuta sometimes kuna vitu ambavyo vinakuwa vinajirudia yani kama watu wanasema ilifanya hichi kitu jana ilifanya hichi kitu fulani jana yani inakuwa kama ina repeat it's a thing yani a repetition yani inachokifanya leo inaendelea nini kwa kama mda fulani waliingia bias probably na leo wataingia bias labda mda fulani waliingia sasa hapo unaangalia na technical unaangalia hii technical analysis unafanya analysis na nini lakini na ngiichi kwamba sio kwamba kina woko asilimia zote the point ni kwamba uwe na trading journal ili uweze kujua katika muda fulani something will happen katika muda fulani kitu fulani kinaanza kutokea hii itakusaidia sana usichukue pairs nyingi um additionally labda ambacho kutokana sasa na experience out of experience this is like knowledge base out of experience kama na washauri sasa mtu akisema unashauri vipi kuhusiana na trading nakwambia hichi kitu bu that's the first thing trading ni area ambayo uta find the real you in terms of finance bu kwamba usiwe always mimi nikija nikasema labda wewe unajua una trade pair tatu na ndio ulivyojiamlia hivyo mtu mwingine akasema GBP and Z New Zealand dollar e great british pound against New Zealand dollar sasa hivi labda inaenda hivi na kweli ikaenda obvious kuna kitu unasema da ningeitek ile kesho yake baadaye anasema labda pia fulani itaenda hivi kwa unakuwa na unakuwa tempted kusema mm, ile ilienda vile labda na uja mwana kana anajua huyu unasema utake no you have to be bold enough to say no na kuelewa kwamba wewe una take trades to kuna mtu kama mnamfahamu jamaa anaitwa um, um ni trader yupo Marekani 
uh, what's the name of the guy ana gari ya Porsche afisa hivi amejenga ana trade uh, UJ tu ana trade USDJPY peke yake USDJPY peke yake I will send the guy's profile I'm checking Instagram yake ana ana trade hiyo pea tu lakini he knows it so much to the point ambayo ikifika muda wa kuikamua ni anaikamua ipasavi yani anaibinya <laughs> Yaani anaidinya ile ile. Yaani kama yeye anaweza mka trade pea zenu hata nne lakini akija akaidinya ile pea. <laughs> Inatema kweli yani madini yani. Unaona? Kwa hiyo you have to be bold. Usijiunge na magroup mengi ya forex ya kuchanganya na kupotezea muda tu. Kuwa na magroup machache ambayo ni relevant ambayo una watu ambao una connect nao ambao wanaweza ukajenga ukakua. Ukajifunza sio tu watu wanaongea hichi huyu anapewa switch au nini ukaona kabisa forex imekushindwa find what was signals do that just find another thing yani forex is not for everyone i'm sorry guys but it's the truth forex is not for everyone kuna watu hata waambiaje they always greedy they always do the opposite and they will always fail kwa hiyo au yani umeshindwa kabisa but you still want to make money ungua account yako ya dola 100 lipia mentorship mali zifo signal kwa mtu ambaye unaona na muamini tumia tu signals ila hata kama unatumia signals fuata nini hizi hapa sheria nizo ziandika hapa fuata hizi sheria utakuta kwa sababu in, kwenye miezi mingapi umefika kuna kitu kimoja pia nilitaka niongelee kwenye hii it's not part of this lakini nitaka niongelee kitu kimoja kinaitwa compounding um ni maandika nini um compounding yeah, i hope the spelling are right compounding manake ni accumulation ya pesa taratibu taratibu guys yani nobody get rich kitaratibu yani kwa haraka hivyo compounding manake kwa mfano ukiwa na hii hapa una hii consider reward risk ratio na unajua your risk per trade kama unajua kwamba kwa siku una, una, una upo tayari kupoteza kiwango gani cha pesa basi at the same time ujue kwamba kwa siku una uwezo upo tayari kutengeneza pesa gani labda upo tayari kwa siku kupoteza dola tano, si ndio basi kwa siku target yako ni dola kumi. we una account labda dola mbili au dola tatu. kwa siku ni dola kumi. tu it means in one week utakuwa unatengeneza nini dola hamsini in 4 weeks it means utakuwa umetengeneza dola ngapi 200 hii inamaanisha kwa katika mwezi mmoja utakuwa umetengeneza dola 200 haya dola 200 ukishafikisha ukijumlisha na hilo ulikuwa una dola 200 una dola 400 una blade labda sasa hivi kwa siku utaanza kutengeneza labda dola 20 it means kama kwa siku unatengeneza dola 20 it means sasa hivi kwa siku tano utakuwa na dola ngapi hiyo 20 mara 5 una dola 100 Aya, kama una dola mia ukija it means kwa mwezi sasa hivi utakuwa na shilingi ngapi dola 100 ukijumlisha na ile pale 400 una 900 kwa umeona how it goes kwa ndani ya miezi mbili unakuta umetengeneza dola 900 that's how the map goes that's how money management inaenda it's not magic guys hakuna mtu ambaye aliamka asubuhi kwenye forex aka trade week na dola mia kigafa gafa tu akaenda wapo of course kuna watu ambao they are really good and they are really lucky mtu mimi nisha iko na watu tulikuwa na kuste na tuli witness mtu anatoa account ilikuwa na dola 40 na kitu dola 1000 ndani ya siku tatu we saw that yani so story tuliona hicho kitu kwa hiyo hii hapa tutawafundisha pia vizuri Yaani ukiwa na plan ya hivi it's easy kwa sababu unajua kabisa kwa siku labda nitengeneza dola kumi in a week ukija kuangalia una dola hamsini that's money management ndio maana kwaambia guys ukielewa ile somo hata kwenye maisha it goes like that kwa sababu hata kama unafanya biashara if you're going to save labda kwa siku labda shilingi 2000 au shilingi 1000 au nini 
unajikuta kwamba baada ya wiki una kiasi fulani. Kwa hiyo the knowledge here doesn't doesn't only apply hapa, lakini ukifail hapa, ukafail kuelewa hii, ukachukulia utani utani. Believe it or not. Yaani you guys in the witness kama mmeanza ku trade sasa hivi. You will need witness in like six months and tasema like aliongea prosper. Ndio maana tuna watu kama wale pale yule jamaa tutamchagia mchungaji yule alipost course. The guy is doing great. Alikuwa anakuja anasikiliza hivi nini anaenda ana trade ana practice. He's good na anafundisha watu wengine sasa hivi. Sisi hatuchaji kwa mtu yeyote isipokuwa kwamba tuweze. Na mimi nimwambia kuhusu mimi my goal sio kwamba kuwa na institute this. Tumeanza kuanzisha hii hapa hii hapa hii hapa Forex Elite ilikuwa hapo ni kwa ajili tu ya kusaidia watu. It's always been like that. So by now the struggle ndio maana sasa hivi guys tunapo aletea hivi don't take these things for granted kwa sababu people the knowledge i'm giving out here is the same knowledge ambayo sasa hivi Elisha yeye mnamwita the man so cosmic mimi nimesoma naye panda hili and it's the same knowledge ambayo anatoa anayo kuchaji dola 50 it's the same knowledge ambayo mnaenda kuchajua dola 100 it's the same knowledge ambayo mnaenda kuchajua dola 500 mtu atakwambia kuna secret atakwambia sisi strategy inaitwa hivi au nini but Believe it or not it's the same thing forex haina siri siri ipo kwako mwenyewe ukijelewa follow the simple rules you'll make it ukiwa ignorant uka try to start your own thing uka try to make your own plan na vitu kama vingine you will not make it don't try to make um tunasema a new will the will was already invented bwe unatokea tu follow it and bas these are the rules guys kama kuna swali mtu aulize mimi kwa kweli nimemaliza amwenye masikio asikie <laughs> ambao limempita haya tutakumbukana kwenye kubrew account nasubiria guys kama kuna maswali kuna mtu kwenye group alisema ana maswali kwa hiyo ndio maana hapa I'm scary yeah. I'm not sorry. Ask anything to apo um kama kuna swali wewe ulizo andika hapo kwenye chat and I'll answer it Oh Elia asante sana ndugu yangu yani Mungu akutangulie kwa kweli kwa sababu kupoteza hela so kazi ndogo ndogo mtu unapoweka pale unakuwa excited umetafutia hiyo selasini yako sijui umetafuta sijui la kimoja yako muda mrefu afu unaweka unaitupa tu papa inaenda kizembe zembe inauma sana inauma sana yani kama kuonga tu kuna kuuma sasa hapo ndo huko utaona hatari zaidi ah denville huko naona amesema amekosa meeting ya atawekwa zitawekwa yani guys hapa hii ina record hapa ilipo ina record ilipo hapa Yeah, sad but truth about San Francisco in Islam ni kuhusu calculation about risk and reward calculation wa mteja mdogo wa dola 20. Kwa sababu mimi ni aswali but jalo soleo at wiki potea kwenye chat ni expecting we expect nini wiki mpotea kwenye chat emotion boss ndio tatizo sijitafanyaje. Yeah, okay naanza na ile hapa la Maulid. Yeah, kwa issue ya Francisco ilikuwa kama hiyo. Mimi Francisco ni the guys about kipindi kile naingia Forex Elisha na Francisco Elisha nimesoma naye panda hili. Huyu mnamuita the money holic. Um Francisco na wao ndo akani introduce me kwenye forex back then kwa tukaanzaga hivyo. Alafu the guy Francisco alipopata hii idea alikuwa na aim ya kusaidia watu wengi kukuza mitaji. The thing ni kwamba watu wengi walioingia walikuwa wanajua tu kwamba wakiingia na dola mia basi faster watafikia dola 10000 hawakulio kwamba forex is a risk business nadhani labda angewasanisha labda mkataba fulani agreement na kuelekeza mwanzo ningemsaidia 
sasa moja ya kitu kibaya sana ni hela ya mbongo mbongo hata kama unamsaidia lakini hela ya mbongo is cursed yani it's very cursed watu wali change wakaanza nini baada ya nishi kwenda tofauti yani they killed the career ya guy had save guy ni interest ta marakani kwa yani maki wanamuita tapeli mitandao ni nini but ideally hakuwa na hiyo hilo dhumuni ila anyways i hope and i pray the guy is okay because i know the guy yani francisco is very humble guys believe it or not he's very humble and he's always in my prayers um prosper me ni na swali but in jerson leo et week inapotea kwenye chat ni expect ni expect nini first thing first um week here to potea kwenye chat kwa sababu kama umeiona week kwenye four hour chat always week itakwepo pale za kama imepotea means labda umetoka kwenye four hour ukafungua labda two hour kwa sababu what happened kwenye market entire kisha tokea kama market ilitokea ikatengeneza kitu fulani ika close hata ukifikia kufungua makani tarehe leo kama ilikuwa kuna week ile week itakwepo pale kama ilikuwa kwenye four hour chart it always kuwa pale the thing ni kwamba labda uli mix labda kama uka uka ukashangaa ime na nini umefungua ile chart ya ya one hour au nini kwa mfano labda imetokea hii hapa object sasa hivi hii hapa imetokea labda hii hapa hii always itakwepo kwenye daily chart Yaani hata iwaje it always be here. Nabla ni shusha hapa nifungue sasa four hour. Ndio sasa unaona ime change haipo tena. Lakini otherwise it always be there. Um emotions based on tatizo sijui tunafanyaje. Yeah, yani men always try to manage your emotions. Always try. Yaani kwa simple ukisha lose ile 5% ya umeona umelose just fulani. Basi achana na market funga zima tu data endelea na mambo yako mengine kwa sababu ukiangalia tu market tayari utagusa fibonacci retracement hichi katika market kina msaada gani zaidi wewe kinasumbua aha hii nitakuja kufundisha guys kwenye somo la um, indicators but personally mimi was trade kwa kutumia indicators mimi na trade pure price action kwa hiyo sijawahi ku concentrate kwenye indicators i don't like indicators lakini fibonacci retracements zinasaidia kiufupi ka tika kuangalia kwamba muda gani price inaweza ikareverse waga inakuwa na range ya kuanzia 0 hadi 100 sasa price iko labda imeshuka kwenye 50 au ipo kwenye 50 pale au 60 ndio wanasema point ambayo price ina nice cool retrace easy up actually um easy up kwa una kuta labda ni kila kuanzia hapa labda hadi hapa kwa labda tuna suggest price ifike labda hapa ile price wanaangalia ipo kwenye 50 labda ipo same gani kwa zile ile wanasema kutokana na hizi week upande wa huko ndio inaweza kaitrace lakini ni general knowledge atakuja atawafundisha vizuri kusi au moist wenyewe wanastumia sana personally alafu na sio kupotea napotea kwenye chat na kwa indicate nini aha fibonacci oh, you mean potea week zina indicate nini Ah week zina indicate kwamba price ilikuwa rejected kwenye area fulani kwa sababu week inatokea hivi week inatokea labda price ilikuwa hivi labda hii hapa hii ndo week ndio hichi kidude sasa hii week maana yake price mara ya kwanza hii ilikuwa hivi umeona maana price ilishuka ikafika hadi huku chini ilifika hadi huku chini lakini ilipofika huko chini ikaja ku close ikarudi juu ikaja ku close ikarudi juu ikaja ku close up unaona opening price ime close up kuja hivi ndio inatengeneza hii week kwa hii week unakuta ni kwamba ilikuwa ina indicate resistance fulani hivi sasa week full ni kwamba pale ambapo huo tunategemea kwa mfano market sipo hivi hii week umeiona hii hapa inakuwa filled kuna kwa kuna candlestick zinakuja kutokea hapa hizi candlestick zikifuli kwamba zikajaza hadi hapa mwisho hiyo ndo week full hiyo ndo inakuwa week full week full week full kwa lakini labda ingekuwa ni proper week full tungesema hii zimeifuli hii hapa Um, 
Ya hizo tuna muda mwingi nadhani twende kwenye grupu. Tunaambiwa katika ku trade ni bora kuchagua pia moja na ku nayo sana. Sasa vipi kuhusu hizo pia na zipi bora zaidi? Hichi kitu nilikiongea siku zile kwenye kwenye group lakini anyways guys. Let's go back to the group. Alafu nitajibu haya maswali yenu kwa sababu I have less than one minute and the chat will close. Ni washukuru sana guys kwa wale ambao tumekuwa mwanzo hadi mwisho. Bwana Shehe Ustad. Ustad bas san Juma. Bona bwana. Shukran sana guys. Nimekuepo nami toka mwanzo hadi mwisho hadi sasa hivi. Watu wengi wengi wanakisikia masomo na maelezo. Kwa God bless that and I will ntajibu ilo salafu.